Hi, this is Richard from Garden Elf, and I'm here at Wanganui Collegiate to share with you a design that the students have uh, put together here for a aquaponics system to grow some cuttings that they are going to put into new food forests that they develop into different sites. They have been working on a couple of different projects here. They designed a, an, a chicken mandala vegetable garden system, and you can see the mandala in the space at the top there and as well as using that mandala to move some chickens through an annual garden bed they're going to also move that mandala through different areas they want to uh, develop into a food forest so to uh, produce their own plants for that system and not have to buy lots of plants all the time they've set up this aquaponics system to supply those those plants and to also you know role model how you can create an, an integrated system using the fish in this case for the fertility and the cuttings in the glass house to um, make use of that fertility to grow grow a product, in this case the um, food forest plants and also to cleanse the water and um, provide a better habitat for the fish. So looking at how these systems can integrate together in, in uh, cohesive and collaborative ways. Um, the design here involved um, digging out a series of ponds. So this is one of the ponds here that they've dug out lined with some plastic. Um, they use some cement to line the outside of that plastic with some um, stones from a nearby river. The fencing they have made use of some um, local bamboo, um, bought a little bit of fencing and then just used some twisty ties to secure the two so it's quite a easy to use material that the students could um, get their hands in quite easily. The the water from this pond comes up from the glass house so as the um, water from the glass house goes down through the base of the glass house because the glass house has been um, dug out and lined as well. There's an underground channel that feeds down into this pond and then the overflow of this pond goes through another underground channel to that pond where the water is pumped up into the glass house um, to water the plants. Um, when they designed the glass house system here, the soil that was excavated out of the glass house they also used to set up this food forest system here. The, um, initially had some board beans growing in here to, to improve the soil quality by fixing some nitrogen and obtain a yield from the board beans and then coming up through that as they've um, harvested those and chopped and dropped them are some food forest plants so there's some hazelnuts and berries and feijoas and mandarins and peaches and some apple trees as well and, and they've had a, a look at um, how to propagate some different plants as part of the establishment of the system. So some of these plants they uh, planted really deeply and as they rooted some of the side branches they were able to uh, propagate the plant. So here you can see one uh, Chilean guava here that was buried extra deep and as they root they um, divide the plant up and they plant the new plants in this food forest strip that they've established here. Um, so in the glass house here they um, dug out the site, they lined it with this, well they lined it with plastic and filled it with the gravel so that as the water um, gets pumped up and goes through these grow beds it drains down into the gravel which then feeds into the first pond. There's a solar panel here, a 12 volt solar panel to power the pump that's in the pond. And there's a battery there um, that the solar panel provides the power into. So when it oh, got a bit of a busted pipe here. So the water from the um well I have to fix that but the water from the pond gets um, pumped through these misters here. So the idea of the misters is they create a nice fine um, watery mist, which is ideal for the propagation of cuttings. It's, um, it's kind of creating a nice humid environment here that um, the cuttings can grow from. And they've, they've looked at propagating some different food forest plants, um, some olives here and some berries and hazelnuts and uh, guavas and some herbs as well and 
what they've been growing it in is this very fine um, gravel from a nearby stream and the um, the texture of that gravel is quite good it drains really freely so as the water is pumped up through the stones it drains nicely but um, being quite dense it also holds on to the humidity quite well so they don't dry out too much if um, they go without water for a couple of hours um, what's really nice about this system with the um, solar panel powering the pump is that it's going to work harder on a hotter day like today than it is on a cooler day so it self regulates a little bit the um, amount of water that's going to be pumped through the glass house so um, if, if you need more water because it's hotter and, and the plants are going to wilt more quickly then there's going to be more water supplied by the solar panel and, and it kind of self regulates itself that way so that's been working quite nicely um, we've had a few issues with these misters clogging up a little bit so um, we've, we've installed a couple of filters um, in, the, in the line to remove any of the solid debris that's in the water that's pumped up from the pond and um, we need to secure that hose a little bit more tightly um, so that that doesn't happen <laughs> luckily uh, we got into this before it, these plants dried out otherwise that could have been worse so yeah it gives you uh, hopefully a bit of an idea about how you can set up an aquaponic system um, normally they're the the aquaponics uh, sorry the the tanks for the fish are, are in the glass house itself so they're typically they're just under the the grow beds and then you don't need such a powerful pump or a solar panel because you don't need to draw it from such a far away pond and, and you don't need to pump it um, quite so high so yeah normally you'd have the tanks for the fish underneath here and you just pump up from those tanks into these grow beds and and um, have a bit more of a simple system but we wanted to create something a little bit more elaborate and interesting for the students um, by doing this so um, yeah if you have any questions about this or you'd like to um, have some system designed we we're at Garden Elf we design and install different um, regenerative foodscape systems for schools or urban backyards or small farms um, our website's www.gardenelf.co.nz or you can reach me at richard at gardenelf.co.nz all right hope to hear from you soon bye